Hello and welcome to another video by the Ministry of Miniatures and today unfortunately we have not got another battle report and um, George bless him has, has not been very well so our scheduled black powder battle report for this weekend um, was had to be cancelled but I thought it was probably a good opportunity just to let you see what's on my work desk how I work uh, and, and some of the stuff I'm working on so as you can see at the moment I am working on the Africa core so as you can see there there's a starter set and I've used that as the basis for the army I'm working on so let's come back have a look and I'll show you how I've laid it out so as you can see I've used um, the layout to try to create a Africa core zug or a platoon so um, using the starter army um, I've got an officer at the front there with a pistol. I've also got an assistant, or it could be another officer with um, a machine gun. As you can see, I've built everything and I've undercoated it all with um, skeleton bone. And now I'm just laying down some of the base coats. But um, for the basic army, to have the basic platoon, I've got three identical squads here, which are um, an NCO with a machine gun. Uh, then I've got Riflemen, and at the back each squad has uh, an LMG. I did run out of uh, the Africa Corps and I didn't really want to open another starter set so I did use some of the spare equipment onto some random um, winter um, dudes so they're built in. Um, they seem to go all right actually um, so it's quite nice just to have some long coats in there as opposed to just everyone in the desert gear. So when I built my basic platoon from the starter set, officer and assistant, three squads, um, and then I've gone for the um, medium mortar at the back there. So that's quite nice. I've kind of built it up with um, some walls and a bit of debris around. I've also started to put some equipment down. I might put some rifles on there as well, which is what I tend to do with the additional equipment. Um, then the medium machine gun on this side. Again, as you can see there, I've put the machine gunner um, and quite nicely he's holding his leg just to reassure me, battle bless him. Um, so there, the medium mortar and the medium machine gun that come with the starter set. I've also got a guy here that I've done um, as a spotter, if need be. But in the starter set, it does come with this spotter. And it's the same as I did with my 8th Army. I've built it up so that there's some spare equipment. Um, and then the spotter goes into there just so it looks what I think is pretty cool. So I'm just in the basis of painting that at the moment. Um, and the, the wall just goes all the way around. Not that it offers any protection in the game, but it's just quite a nice addition to have. Um, then to support those, I've got um, over here, I've got the anti-tank rifle. And as you can see, I've used one of the winter guys just as his support reading instructions there. Then I've got light mortar and the medic at the back. Um, with the pack comes loads and loads of troops and actually I've picked up some free sprues as well along the way. So I've also created three light machine gun teams. So if I want to, I can swap them around to have twin LMGs in each of the squads, um, or I can run these separately depending on which of the forces I go for. Um, and whenever I create an army, what I always do is I love to create with spare kit and bits and bobs some objective markers. So these are my Africa core objective markers. And as you can see there, I've only just started painting them. So um, various helmets and bits and bobs hanging around um, and an officer hat on that one, um, which is quite nice. So um, building those up. And I've also got Hans Hock, who's um, looks like he's surrendering there. So we'll see about that. Um, and then what I wanted to, to do is um, make sure I had, uh, and if for the medium machine gun that comes with the Africa Corps, the, the uh, motorbike and sidecar, sorry, has an SMG. So what I've done is a really simple conversion and put one of the metal LMGs onto the guy. Um, so now I can run this as um, in the medium machine gun slot. 
Um, or I can run him as part of the squad. Uh, and then I've got four Africa Core bikes. I've not put the guys on at the back because actually I want to be able to paint those. Um, so that is the basics for um, the infantry. Now to support them, I've got the 88, um, but I didn't want to paint loads of different crews because the chance of me having an 88 and another artillery piece running at the same time is pretty slim. So what I've done is I'm just in the process of building up the wall and the basing for this gun. So the crew here um, will basically also be the crew for the 88. So I just need to work out, um, although they fit nicely onto the tray there, it's actually whether I put some foam or card onto this just to give um, some areas for them to plug in. But that's the plan is to use those two crew um, to crew different artillery pieces. Um, now, because it's Africa Corps, always wanted to do um, Indiana Jones. So I've been working on my Indiana Jones. I've got the SS officer and I've also got um, one of the friends of Indiana Jones. And as you can see there, I've also got um, a little objective marker as well, which is quite neat. Um, so um, that all in all should, should make for a good little, little um, scenario. Okay, so next up um, to get a decent size Africa got army and I also want to do a Monte Cassino battle. I've also built a um, Africa Corps Falschermjäger army. So as you can see, I've got two officers at the front here and a medic, medics here. And I've got two identical squads, a couple of uh, SMGs and a light machine gun at the back. They come with uh, a medium mortar and spotter and a medium machine gun. I've got two rifle squads with an LMG at the back and they've got a medium machine gun. I've got a sniper for them, uh, an officer and a sergeant. Uh, and then I've got an uh, SMG squad, so I can run these as Brandenburg as if I want, or some kind of elite unit. So these are all metal from Artisan and the Fauschum Jaeger are metal from Warlord. Um, but yeah, it just gives me um, a good way of adding some variety to the army. And then Olaf and I are really looking forward to trying to start uh, 0200 hours. So as you can see here, I've got two sentry um, units I've got NCOs on either side, then I've got three rifles uh, and two dogs. Um, so they are looking quite nice. So that's all the infantry. Now let's have a look at my trucks and vehicles. Okay, so these are my um, vehicles I've got for the Africa Corps. As you can see, I've got some accessories. I want to be able to put a medium machine gun on the Cooper wagon um, and then some officer bits just to denote that an officer has been in the car. Um, I've also got this slightly bigger um, vehicle here um, again I'm gonna put a light with well, a medium machine gun on it if I can um, I've got Rommel there um, and I've also got the artisan Rommel which I've put magnets in and I just need to create a base um, with some magnets on so I can move them around and then the guy that was um, in the uh, motorbike and sidecar with his SMG is going in there just to show um, some extra support there you go, I'm going to paint up both of the Rommels uh, and that should be quite nice um, to give some extra support on the army and some objectives. Uh, there's a 222, uh, an 8 rad, half track, the new one, the small one. Uh, so that's quite nice with a medium machine gun. Two bigger half tracks so I can move troops around and if I want to uh, move a lot of troops, I've got two trucks and that's also partly towards my Indiana Jones um, scenario I want to do. So they're my vehicles. Now let's have a look at the tanks. So there we go. These are my three, uh, well, five tanks I'm doing, but three varieties. So in the middle, I've always wanted to do a Tiger one. Um, so I do opportunity with the desert scenario. So there they go, it's undercoated. I've then got two Panzer fours, uh, one with a longer barrel, one with a shorter barrel. And then I've got two Panzer threes. Um, so they're all ready to give my Africa Corps some support. So you go. That's what I'm working on at the moment. Um, it's a bit of labour of love. It's taken me quite a long time and I've kind of not really wanted to be getting on with it just because on the back of doing my 8th Army and the Long Range Desert Group, 
which took about three or four months. Going back into another desert army has been a little bit tedious. So there's a couple of things I've been working on um, simultaneously. So I'm also looking to do sharp practice. So these are my Minutemen. As you can see here, I've got uh, uh, an American War of Independence. Oh, yeah. These are at the start of the war, the Minutemen who revolted against the British. Um, so I'm currently working on those. So as you can see, I'm just putting down, when I get bored of painting desert colors, I can then just put some work on these. Um, but then one other thing I'm doing, um, I like to keep a bit of variety. So let's have a look at some other stuff. Okay, so one of the things I have been working on is a panther for my German winter army. So um, I've basically finished that recently. I just need to finish a few bits off on it and then put some um, some hard coat over it just to stop it from chipping any further. But I wanted it to be a really dirty sort of veteran type tank. So um, I used the hairspray version. So I basically had a painted tank I sprayed it with hairspray, airbrushed white over it, and then chipped away, put some washes on it, pin washes, etc., etc., and really dirtied it up. And this is what it looks like, so I'm quite pleased with that. And there's just a few detailings like the spade and well, the shovel and the pick that I just want to pick out a bit more, um, as you can see on this side, just to make them stand out a bit clearer. But I'm quite pleased with the result of that. Um, so that's quite good. Um, and then um, let's have a look at something else that I've been wanting to do ever since I first got into wargaming um, but haven't been able to do up until recently. Okay so those that know me know I got into wargaming when I was a kid but actually more recently probably 20 years ago with Lord of the Rings. Um, since I first got into Lord of the Rings I've wanted to paint the Fellowship um, and it was only recently I actually managed to find the time to sit down and the patience and work out doing the fellowship. Um, and this is it. I'm quite pleased with the result. Um, they're never going to win any prizes, but actually I've got tons of Moria goblins and I've got the Mines of Moria, um, Balin's Tomb, the Resin. So actually that'd be quite cool to play some battles on there. So let me know if you want to see some battles or um, some more Lord of the Rings. I've got plenty of figures so I can showcase those and I'm planning to do some more painting. Um, but yeah, this is my um, Fellowship of the Rings, basically from the Mines of Moria set. So they are plastic, they're not particularly great plastics, but they actually come out all right when you paint them. And as you can see there, I've just gone a bit creative with the bases to save a bit of time, but also to get, keep them themed. Um, it's just cork mat, it's basically broken down. Um, and as you can see there, it looks like they're running across mines, so I'm quite happy with that. But anyway, there we go. That's what I've been working on recently. Um, I'll try to have a few things going at a time just to break the monotony of batch painting on, on a grand scale. Um, but let me know what you want to see. If you want me to do something regular like this and talk through what's on the table, what we're working on as a group, um, please do. Um, but also, don't forget, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and let us know what you think, because it's it just helps us to to know and grow the community grow the channel um, and do stuff that people want to see so take care and see you all again soon